turn the ship around. Yeah. Now he wants to run. Great. I want to protect the stone. And I want you to thank me now. Go ahead, I'm listening. For what? Nearly blasting me into space? Who just saved your man's glass? Me. I seriously don't know how you fit your head into that helmet. Admit it. You should have ducked out when I told you to. I tried to bench you, you refused. Unlike everyone else in your life, I don't work for you. And due to that fact, we're now in a flying donut, billions of miles from Earth with no backup. I'm backup? No, you're still away. The adults are talking. I'm sorry, I, I'm confused as to the relationship here. I mean, what, what, what is he, your ward? No. I'm Peter, by the way. Doctor Strange. Oh, you're using your made-up names. Um, I'm Spider-Man, then. The ship is self-correcting its course. Things on autopilot. Can we control it? Fly us home? Stark. Yeah. Can you get us home? Yeah, I heard you. I think I'm not so sure we should. Under no circumstances can we bring the Time Stone to Thanos. I don't think you quite understand what? what's at stake no. here. It's you who doesn't understand that Thanos has been inside my head for six years since he sent an army to New York and now he's back. And I don't know what to do. So I'm not so sure if it's a better plan to fight him on our turf or his, but you saw what they did, what they can do. At least on his turf, he's not expecting it. So I say we take the fight to him. We go to him, but you have to understand, if it comes to saving you, or the kid, or the time stone, I will not hesitate to let either of you die. I can't, because the universe depends on it. Nice. Good, moral compass. We're straight. <sighs> Good kid. We're an adventure now.